What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Triple THS, powered by Countermove Fantasy MMA at countermove.com. I'm the spoiled milk of mixed martial arts, Tommy Toehold. Today, Jake Shields gets restructured out of the UFC. Let's do this shit! <laughs> Eliminate all other factors, and the one which remains must be the truth. Jake Shields was released from the UFC yesterday, causing the internet to explode in its entirety. But we rebuilt it. We made it stronger. Like John Fitch and Yushin Okami before him, Jake Shields rated as about a 2 on the fucks given scale for fight fans. That was until he was cut, and then everyone is the biggest Jake Shields fan that ever existed. The former Strike Force champ went 4-3 and three in the welterweight division, and won 3 of those 4 via wet blanket split decision. Factor that in with the Joe Lozon money Jake was getting for his Strike Force dominance, and it was only a matter of time before the Gracie fighter ended up in the unemployment line. And by unemployment line, I mean being paid over market by some smaller organization to fight less talented fighters because he is Jake Shields and fought in the UFC, so said smaller organization will think that means ratings. Hold on just a minute, Tommy. Something shady's going on here. Is this about GSP's raps? I'm not gonna say that. Were they shady? Yes. Those raps were shady. Why didn't they let me look at them again? But that doesn't mean that that's what this is about. It's not like my entire life revolves around GSP's raps, Tommy. This is about GSP's raps, isn't it? Just hear me out, okay? I was trying to figure out why the UFC cut me, right? I mean, I'm a really good wrestler. Like, that's my go-to thing. I grind it out all the way. I don't really talk much or do anything to draw attention to myself. You know, the type of stuff that fans want to see. So naturally, it has to go back to GSP's raps. Not saying he was cheating, but something shady was going on. So in this picture, you can see his raps right super shady my current theory is that he hid chainsaws inside them chainsaws jake you weren't there tommy anyway i started looking for clues and that's when i noticed this thing on the wall it almost looks like somebody taped a wire to the wall what's that wire doing there what does that have to do with gsp's wraps and me being cut right so i go back to the bell center in montreal and i find the wire and i follow it i figured it would lead me to the robots hidden inside gsp's wraps but it was actually connected to this machine. And this machine had propellers on it like an old airplane kinda, but smaller, like it could fit in a room. And it was pushing air around. And that's when I realized that this is the reason I was cut. It was GSP's wraps and whatever this device was. This thing is what helped GSP. And I have a feeling it might be helping other fighters because I've seen it in their locker rooms too. Jake, what you're describing sounds like a fan of some sort. That's it, Tommy, that's why I got cut. I don't have any fans. No, you have fans, Jake. Oh. I do? Yeah, a bunch of them. They just apparently never bothered to show that they were fans until you got cut. So my fans are shitty. You're gonna land on your feet, Jake, don't worry. That's show fight fans! Tune in tomorrow for more Triple THS shenanigans! Tommy's gonna read Crime and Punishment out loud. No, I'm not.